Your auntie coming through with another one. That's hard. It don't. That part. Ooh. Ooh, my heart is racing. To my cousin. Oh, your father, let know. Yep. You know why it's fine? She about to get paid. You know what? If you ain't seen the video, you're going to learn today. There was a lady down at the Walmart. All I know, it was somewhere near the Sherwood the police department we don't know what city what state but you know i'm coming to you straight kitchen table talk new sources number one said you he told my nigga okay new sources new sources new sources it's a few um lipstick alley covered this i'm not sure if i've seen it on pushing black but i'm sure i will um and many of new sources on um, Instagram. I follow. I, I tapped out of, to the uh, uh, normal sources of media uh, over, over, well over a year ago because I felt like I was getting hypnotized, uh, which is a perfect segue into uh, why we need to shop black folks. Um, so I'm going to shout out a few of them first. Uh, once again, Seji Hito, that's S-E-J-I, Hito, H-I-T-O. He makes t-shirts and um, sneakers. Speaking of sneakers, of course, our nigga, we all know him, Master P, is making sneakers. Shout out, uh, the next shout out, uh, Negus. Uh, N-E-G-U-S. They make sneakers. They are fly. They are dope. About what you would normally pay for any other sneaker, but way cooler and by us. Uh, if you're trying to get your, your your good tea on, I would suggest going to Lovely Tea. Uh, watch her videos. She is a huge influence in my life. Okay. Uh, another uh, black company, if you're trying to get your business on. Oh, uh, Fly Nubian. Uh, Fly Nubian Shopping dot com it's fine nubian go on youtube type that in you'll find the link to buy our stuff if you are just lost in the sauce type in we buy black on instagram and then you'll get sources to laundry detergent toothbrushes and things like that i haven't gone that far yet but I'm shouting them out. If you're into art, uh, I would suggest Whitney Austin on Instagram. She makes beautiful, beautiful black pieces online. Um, off the top of my head, who else can I think of? Um, of course, we got our movie sources with Tariq She. Um, we have so many different resources. If you're looking to make money, I would advise to go into Dr. Claude Anderson. I would even, oh, I, I'm going to make a whole video about that. It'll be a three-minute video of me just shouting out motherfuckers I follow. And 
how you can get your money black power on which is going into why we're talking about this is a woman who spent a hundred and three dollars and i forgot to change down to the walmart i personally have experienced i'm going to be very selfish with this video uh discrimination within the walmart especially when i go to my mother's side of town my mother lives in a affluent side of town and um when i go to the walmart i often find myself followed uh one day i went to the walmart in my mother's neighborhood and i purposely stood in the um frozen section with this guy in the old shirt every motherfucking aisle i went to he was there and I'm like, bitch, if you knew my mama and you knew what I was about, you would know not to follow a bitch like me. You need to follow the motherfucking opioid users and see what's up. But meanwhile, he's following me so I can get my little taco fixings and have me a good dinner. He's following me out of aisle. So I waited. I literally stood in the frozen section in the Walmart on Ruck Regal for 40 minutes. And you want to know how I knew it was 40 minutes? I was watching Top of the Blogs by Four It's Rocks. It was 38 minutes. And I was watching something else before that, before I started the video. And I stayed in that section on purpose. And he kept going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And you know how I know he was a Jake, a pig, a, a swine, a fuck punk ass, bitch ass motherfucking Jake? It's because he had no basket, no cart. He just had this bright, paisley, uh, not paisley, pastel, Easter egg, ass goddamn button down. And no bass cart, no basket, nothing. Watching me. Where am I going to steal some frozen vegetables with my fucking t-shirt, you fucking dumb fuck, fuckhead? And I waited, and I kept waiting, 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 waiting. And he's really watching me. Luckily, it was my day off, and I ain't have shit to do. So I kept that cocksucker waiting. Meanwhile, sister girl down to the Walmart trying to get a Walmart trying to get a refund, which I have done plenty of times. I have cussed out Walmart on numerous occasions i done cuss walmart out after spending a thousand dollars now imagine how pissed i was and she only spent 103 dollars i was cussing them bitches out from sun up to sun down after spending a thousand dollars with them cock sucking bitches and uh i got my money back and you know Shout out to the sister once again for keeping her composure because I kind of feel like they know which ones to test and they know which ones not to test, you know, because, you know, I don't know if I would have been as cool as her trying to get my goddamn money back because, bitch, never in life will I spend a, a hundred dollars and all the while I... Bitch, there was a period of time I never left a Walmart without spending $200. No goddamn low prices and shit. That includes getting your nails done, your groceries, a couple things around the house, and all the shit. I'll be goddamn if a bitch tell me I'm not going to get my money back without getting a busted lip first. Now, I'm not. She's the representative of the community. In this video, I can't be. I can't be. Not when it comes to my money. Not when it come to my goddamn money. If a bitch in a Walmart ever feel in her goddamn life that I'm not going to get my motherfucking money back, you got another motherfucking a bitch. Sister girl about to be paid in the shade, girl. Them fucking raggedy pigs. I got a list. They didn't do no investigative work because she had the receipt in her hand with her bass car right there. They removed her from the premises 
without ample time for her to present her ID when they asked for it. She just simply said, you could arrest me, but if this Jake was on his cop duty, then he would have waited ample enough time all in a hostile situation, understanding that she's pissed off because she's been followed around by some motherfucking cracker who thought she was stealing. Meanwhile, she's spending hella money in this bitch. He didn't ask, look, or do no kind of investigative work there handcuffed her with no proof never, she never refused to give her ID which is what he said is the reasoning why he arrested her and put her in the back of his motherfucking Jake car his slave patrol truck he said the reason why he was doing that is because she refused to identify herself he never left an opportune or ample enough time for her to present said information. He was so off of what the Walmart employee said that she was trespassing. How is she trespassing when she has not been stopped or arrested or convicted of shoplifting? Under those circumstances and said terms, you are then a trespasser. But if you are a consumer who spends money and is looking for a return due to unsatisfactory items, then she is due that refund. Without interference. It doesn't matter how if you don't like her motherfucking attitude. Maybe she's mad because she got to come back in that raggedy bitch. She didn't want to be there in the first goddamn place. Maybe she like me and got anxiety at issues. And don't like to be around a whole bunch of people. And she mad she got to come back and be around a whole bunch of motherfucking people. Because I know I would be. And that's why me and Walmart had that long, long two and a half hour talk about my shit. Because I'm not coming back. And y'all bitches is going to give me my money. And not only are they going to give her money back, they're going to give her more money back. Uh, You know, this is why, like our leaders of our generation, they're not perfect. Okay, they're not saints. They are living and reaping and living day to day with the same ramifications that we have to live with as black people. So why are you walking around talking about some our culture is contradictory and things like that? We are growing and learning and waking up and realizing that we don't have to take this shit no more. And I'm realizing it too. And you got me fucked up. And I wish I would go to a motherfucking Walmart and a raggedy bitch tell me I'm not going to get my goddamn $100 back. I am the emailingest, phone calling making, corporate office number searching. I need your supervisor. Where's your manager? Where your boss? Your boss at bitch that you have ever met. I want your boss after I get to you. I want your boss after I get to you. I want your boss. What day he coming in? Tuesday, okay, I'll be here at 2.30. Can you please notate it on my account, please, and thank you. I will be calling back approximately at 1.15 because that's when I go on break. And I will be making that phone call. And if y'all bitches is late, you got another problem. Let me tell you something. Mace, don't listen to me. Your auntie crazy as fuck. And she got a temper. Listen, at all times, you don't need to listen to me. But sometimes, bitch, you got me fucked up. And I wish I would go into a motherfucking establishment. Pay me some motherfucking $200. You trying to make a return. You call the motherfucking pigs on me. Me go to motherfucking jail and think I'm not 
taking you to court, you got life fucked up. And with all that said, I hope you tune in to another episode with you chopping up with your auntie, who's going to always keep it funky at all times, keeping in peace, love, and hair grease, and will win for life, okay, bitch? And, and not playing the motherfucking games, because we spend too much money at Walmart with those great, uh, uh, wonderful, low, low prices for a bitch to be getting disrespected. We spend too money. Uh, too, too, we, we, you know, and a lot of us going over my time cannot always afford to just shop purely black. Maybe we only got $5 to spend on some laundry detergent. We trying to get some tie for four ninety nine. dollars So we got to go down to the Walmart and we can't spend 15 every time. But those of us who can, we should shop we push pushing black or we shopping black or we buy black or ash kicking for our lotion or are these different black companies but when you can't do it and you off in this motherfucker then we got to speak for people who can't do that because we're not going to discriminate against the people who can't do that and eventually we'll get to a place where we as black people could offer the same prices and not have to depend on these motherfucking crack ass crackers and keep uh, spending two, three hundred dollars when we go down to the Walmart and getting disrespected. Well, all I said, I am motherfucking out. This is my last video. And after all this black people's... Um, black people issues and the shit that we go through and it piss me off and I gotta go to work in the morning and I'm tired and I'm pissed off and y'all motherfuckers got me fucked up and I wish that lawsuit was mine cause bitch I will be eating it up and just to be a petty bitch I'll go back in that bitch and disrespect all them hoes bitch go motherfucker tell me I can't get no refund call the police on me after I literally done spent part of my check in here bitch because you mad because I'm mad. How you going to get mad because I'm mad and you supposed to be the manager? That's not customer service. They got us fucked up. Shout out to that sister. I need to be like you, girl. I need to be like you.